If you're looking for a really easy way to back up and restore your WordPress website that's easy and safe to use, then you've come to the right place. Hello, I'm Yoda and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now during this course, if you run into any troubles, just leave a comment below the video and I'll be more than happy to assist you. And don't be shy about asking for help. I've been a webmaster instructor, aka the Web Yoda, for over 20 years and I love to hear from my students. But if you could, please pay it forward. If you could like the video, subscribe to the video, share the video, tell your friends about the video. Those are the kind of things that help get the word out there so other students like you can find this video. Let's go ahead and get started and review the WordPress website that we're going to back up and restore today. And we're going to go to create-a-blog.com. Now this is the website we want to back up. And then we're going to show what it looks like when it's broken. And then we're going to restore it. Of course, there could be many reasons why you need to restore your website, but we want to look at the worst case scenario. Suppose you go to your website and it comes up with this message. One of the most common and frustrating WordPress server errors is the 500 internal server error. But one of the easiest ways to fix this error is to simply restore your website with a version that didn't have this error. Unfortunately, many of the backup and restore plugins for WordPress require you to use your WP admin to get to it. So for example, in our case, let's say we tried to log in and then we ended up with this error. So we're at our WP admin and we still ended up with this error. Well, we can't see our website and we can't get to the back end. So what are our options? The solution we're going to use today is not going to require you to have access to your current website at all. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to go and open a new tab. And let's just go ahead and go to webyoda.com front slash backups. And this page tells you a little bit about Backup Buddy, which is the WordPress plugin I've used to backup and restore all my websites for many years. I'm sure people will be quick to point out that there are free methods of backing things up. However, you get what you pay for. And when it comes to being able to get access to my website in case I need to restore it, that's very important to me. So I really didn't want to put myself in a position where I potentially compromise my ability to restore my website simply because I chose a free product. Now the main takeaway from this page is the coupon codes. In fact, we're going to try this one today. Now I've copied that coupon code and I'm going to click on Purchase Backup Buddy. If you notice here at the top, they have saved 30% through the end of this month. But if they don't have a promotion running and none of the codes I have work, simply join their email list and they'll give you a code and you can use that. So next we're going to click on Buy Backup Buddy. I typically only have one site. For all the stuff I do, I actually have the gold plan, but for you, you probably only need the one site. This price is for one year worth of parts and service. However, it turns out at the end of that year, your plugin continues to work indefinitely even if you don't renew your plan. So let's go ahead and click Buy Now. And it's already got the 30% plugged into it. See right here. So we're just ready to check out. So I'll click on check out. And now you want to create account. So we'll put first name, last name. I'll put Yoda Yoda. Company Web Yoda Inc. Email Yoda at WebYoda.com. Username Web Yoda. And a password. And we'll create an account. And we need billing information. Scroll down. Continue with checkout. Scroll down. I'm going to go ahead and pay with PayPal. And now my payment is complete and I'm ready to download my products. So I'll click on download your products. And there's my product. And we'll choose download. And that went to my downloads folder. So I can show it in a folder. And now there it is. Now we can close our tab for that. And now let's go back to our admin for our website that we want to back up and we'll log in. And now we want to install the new plugin. So we'll click on plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file. There it is in our download folder. We can click on it and open it. Install now and activate plugin. Now down here, you'll see now here's the backup buddy that has been added. So we can click on that. And the first thing we're going to do is the quick setup. So if we scroll down. So this email address is where any error notifications go in case the backup had a problem. I'll put that one in there. And then you want to choose a password that's associated with your backups, and then you confirm it. 
Now, I can't stress enough how important this password is because once you've backed these up, later when you go to restore, if you don't have this password, you're not going to be able to restore. Now, if you have an annual plan that you continue doing, you can store your backups on their server. But I don't really want to rely on that, so we're going to store them in two places. The first way is we're going to do regular backups on our local storage only. That basically saves all your automated backups in a folder that lives inside of your own hosting account. So we're going to click Local Storage Only. And then how often do we want to do backups? So unless you're doing active updates all the time to your website, the starter version is probably going to be fine. It does a monthly complete backup and it weekly backs up your databases. This is on the automatic side of things. And later we'll be able to make a manual copy as well. So let's choose Save Settings. And I'm not going to save that password. And now this is automatically set up to do those backups on a regular basis. But at this point, I want to make a manual backup. So to do manual backups, even though it's right here, the steps are go to Backup Buddy and then choose Backups. And that brings you to this page. So to back up our website, we're going to click on Complete Backup. And now we're going to scroll down. And you just simply watch the progress until it completes. It doesn't take very long. OK, Backup is complete. And once it's complete, if we scroll back up, there's a button right here that says Download Backup File. We're going to click on that backup file. And that downloads a copy to our Downloads folder. Well, that does two things. One, we have a permanent copy on our computer. And two, it means that we're not relying on our website to get access to it if something goes wrong. So your last step would be to go to your Download folder and find a convenient place to save these so when you need them later, you can go back and find them. But outside of that, we're done with the backup portion of this video. However, I would encourage you to watch the last few minutes of this video so you can see how easy your website can be restored using Backup Buddy. And now let's look at the steps required to restore your website. The first thing you can do is you can go to Backups. And if you have access to your admin, you can simply choose a backup, click on Restore, and then Restore and you're done. But it's never going to be that easy particularly if your life is like mine, it's always going to be something a lot worse than that. So let's look at the worst case scenario. We'll go back to our website. And let's say you're working on your website, you click on something and all of a sudden you get this error. Oh no, 500 internal server error. What do I do? How do we fix this? How do we upload a previous version of our website to solve this problem? Step one is to log into the control panel or the C panel for your hosting account. In our case, we're using HostGator, but this should work for any hosting account. So I'm going to log into my cPanel. And then from here, you're looking for something called File Manager. And it's usually going to be in the main section at the top, or there's a Files option over here. So we're going to go to the File Manager. Now on the left-hand side, you want to find the project you're working on. In my case, I have a whole bunch of them here, so I have to scroll down a little bit. But we're going to work on Create a Blog. I choose that one. And now in this folder is where my website lives. And we're going to need to upload our backup from our local computer so we can do a manual restore. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to click on Upload. And this is where we're going to put the files we're going to upload. Now in our case, we're going to get the Downloads folder. And we're going to drag this file over. And that's going to move a copy of the backup of our website to the server. Now there's one more file you need, and that's the file that's going to allow you to actually do the restore. Turns out that file is stored inside of our backup, so we're going to have to dig down into our backup to retrieve that file. So we need to go back to our Downloads folder. If you double click on your backup file, you're looking for a folder called WP-Content. You're going to click on that. And next you're looking for a folder called Uploads. And then you want to choose the folder Backup Buddy underscore Temp. And from here, there's only one folder, and that folder will have a random name. But you're going to double click on that folder. And inside that folder is a file called importbuddy.php. And we need to get a copy of this file. So in my case, I can just do copy. And then we can go back to our downloads folder. And now I can do paste. And now we have a copy of that file. Now I can take that file and drag it over here. And now we have everything we need to restore our website. So I'll close these extra tabs. And now we're at our broken website. From here, we want to use our domain name, front slash importbuddy.php, all lowercase, and we hit Enter. To authenticate, simply use the password you selected when you set up Backup Buddy. So I'll copy that. And then it already has selected the one that we uploaded. 
See, it was possible that we could have uploaded one here, but I like to do it through the file manager. We can scroll down and choose restore backup. Now, when you come down here, you just need to copy everything from the left to right by clicking these arrows. If you just click the one at the top, it'll copy everything from the left to the right. You can choose delete all, choose next step. It's the same name. If you were changing URLs, you could choose a different one here. We'll choose next step. Now we can verify that our site works by opening it in a new tab. We come back and look at our site. And now we click on about. And our website is back. It's fixed. It's complete. It's restored. So we go back to our original tab. And since everything was happy, we can scroll down and just say finish cleanup. It's finished. We can close that tab. And everything's perfect. It works like a charm. And now our website is fully restored, just like that. Now, I truly hope I covered everything you needed in this tutorial. Now, if there was something I didn't mention or you had additional questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. But if I don't know the answer, I'll go, hey, I don't know. But if I do know the answer, I can find the answer, I'll give it to you, and maybe we can work on it together. So I really enjoy doing this. I hope you had a great time as well. The only real payment I'm looking for, if I could possibly get a subscribe out of this, possibly a like out of this, that'd be super helpful. But outside of that, I just hope you have a great day. Peace out.